Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, I decided to go ahead and correct an error some multiple people have pointed out to me, and I totally missed it when looking over the autopsy yesterday. Uh, it was an honest mistake on my part, but when I'm wrong on something, and I know I'm wrong for a fact, uh, I'm the type of person who's going to come up and admit it and say, okay guys, I made a boo-boo. Uh, yesterday's video, I said that... Dallas McCarver's testosterone was 550, which was in the normal range. Now, normally, when we see that for test levels, I automatically assumed it was nanograms per deciliter. Nanograms per deciliter, uh, 300 to 1,000 is normally the reference range. Sometimes it, they lower that to eight or 900, depending upon the, the, the doctor or the test. Sometimes they raise that to 1,200, but no one's really 1,200 uh, who's natural. Uh, doesn't happen. But 550 looked normal and I assumed what I had said in the video. Well, it turns out for some reason they use nanograms per milliliter. And the reason that's important, uh, there's a hundredfold difference. In other words, his testosterone levels, if we use the normal measurement that most of us get our blood work done at, if we go get our blood work done here in the United States, they normally give it to us in nanograms per deciliter. His wasn't 550, it was 55,000. 55,000. Uh, the top of the reference range is 1,000. Uh, to put it in perspective, right now I'm on TRT. Uh, the doctor just recently adjusted my dose, so I got a change in blood work at 125 milligrams once a week. I tested at 705. I tested at 705. So if we were to extrapolate that data just a little bit, and it doesn't work linearly like this, so don't make that assumption. It doesn't always work linearly. But if I were to use that as a, a reference, his 55,000 would be 78 times the amount of testosterone that I currently have in my system. Now, keep in mind that fluctuates a little bit. Uh, that's not always going to be a constant. It depends on what day they measure it. But if you were to just get a ballpark estimate, 125 milligrams times 78 is 9,750. So it, it's actually not unrealistic to assume he was on 10 grams. 10 grams. Uh, which is pretty insane, uh, pretty insane. But guys, I thought I would go ahead and clarify that simply because uh, I made a mistake. I misread a single letter on the measurement. It was an honest mistake. I didn't intend to deceive anyone. And I wanted to clarify that because I guess the difference here is that it shows that he wasn't just abusing testosterone. Two grams a week is, is abuse. And we see plenty of guys do that. I mean, Jerry Ward was doing two grams at one time. But 10 grams uh, that's just insane that is absolutely insane and, and what I'm going to say to that is there's no wonder this guy had a heart attack there's no wonder he had the problems he had uh, that is just mind-boggling mind-boggling I'm sitting here on my first cup of coffee looking at all this and uh, I don't even know what to make of it uh, so yeah it's no surprise um, that he had these problems I mean that's I've never heard of anyone having test levels that high on a test. I've never heard of it in anyone's blood work or test or anything in my life. That's the highest number I've ever seen. So again, my brain didn't make the note when I saw the, the measurement. It absolutely didn't make it because there's no way I'm expecting that to be milliliters and it to be 55,000. Uh, wow. But yeah, guys, it's hopefully everyone sees this correction video and people need to stop posting in the comments about the other because I've corrected my mistake. Uh, and thank you to everyone who caught it for me so that we can put the correct information out. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.